hey welcome to she smells i'm back with another video <laughs> i've heard people say that i've been watching too many youtube videos and they sound so cute when they say that but anyway i wanted to share um some of my uh new purchases this is a haul i bought about three new middle eastern perfumes since my last middle eastern collection video that i wanted to share with you the first one is Nassim Nada and it's here's the box I'll go ahead and show the box as well um Nassim Nada this is Nada and it is very unique and the reason I'm shaking it is because this is a aqua perfume meaning that it is water-based there is no alcohol in this perfume it's literally I believe water oils and probably some other kind of chemicals and it is a fresh kind of springy scent fruity i do actually have here the notes for these perfumes okay i'll go ahead and do the notes for nada top strawberry orange blossom mid is rose peach and jasmine and the base notes are musk patchouli and sandalwood and vanilla and I think that this I have not really really worn this yet because to me this feels like a spring scent it looks like a spring scent by the packaging the orange but it is a very fruity scent it's really pretty um right now like I said I'm on the fence I haven't worn it quite yet I'm waiting until the spring but I still wanted to get it because I know on TikTok they had quite a few reviews and everybody was saying that oh this smells so good and I also thought that it was quite interesting that it doesn't have alcohol so we're gonna see I got it off of Amazon and I do like a square packaging I think that it does come in a couple variations like I think it has a body mist a body oil if you like uh, let me see it is a 80 mil so that is not it doesn't have the ounces on the box but it says 80 mil we know that a 3.4 ounce would be a hundred so this is probably 2.5 or 2.4 or 2.7 excuse me probably 2.7 okay let me go ahead and spray nada at least on a strip i'm gonna go ahead and spray it on this strip here so that we can at least see what that smells like it is it's fruity and it's good and like I said for me this would be even summer it's a fruity summer spring scent so I'm just gonna put it up until then and then I'll revisit it and actually wear it and see what the longevity is see if I get any compliments or not the next one is I am the queen and which it is Anna Al Malika and she is I believe it's Al Zafiron yep Ard Al Zafiron there's the box and this one is yet another Zherzhov Ura Pura clone and the reason I wanted it was because as you know I have a few of the clones at least two of them on another video I compared them to each other and huh, let me show you where here's my Al Haramain one which is probably the best one I would say in terms of packaging longevity everything is literally perfect about this perfume but look that's where I am at okay and this is only a two ounce i also shared in a previous video that i went ahead and get got the big daddy 6.7 ounce and as this is why this is why i literally have none left and i think i only bought it like two months ago so i had another two ounce bottle and i went ahead and just decluttered that because i had a 6.7 but then i got curious about this one because this one also had really good reviews on amazon and but it's a 3.4 ounce so I'm like okay I can get another you know bigger one and then kind of run through this one before I even use my 6.7 ounce um, I'm obsessed with with this scent I am obsessed so let me go ahead and at least share the notes 
for I am the queen. It's not identical to the Al Haramain one, but um, it's, it's also good, but a little different. This one has top note of cherry, bergamot, and rose. Mid note of peony, orange blossom, jasmine. And then a base, which is just musk. So this one, I would say the Al Haramain one is better. However, they, they're they so close. They're probably only a percentage or 3% difference. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the I Am Queen one. Um, the packaging isn't as good as the Al Haramain. But again, you're getting more for the money if you don't want to just hop out and do a 6.7 ounce of the Al Haramain like I did. Um, I was a little nervous. I did read that some people's um, packaging for this did break, so I took a risk. Um, mine came just fine, but it, as you can tell, it does not have, I could see this bottle breaking. I could see it breaking. It's straight up very glassy and not the thickest kind of glass. I mean, that's the best way I could describe it. When I look at this, this is a very thick, thick glass. There's much more quality here. So I recommend the Al Harmain, but again, I'm just sharing what I got. I got this, I am the queen. So let me go ahead and spray it. Really don't need to, I know what it smells like, but yeah. It smells pretty much identical to the Al Harmain. It's a little cheaper than the Al Harmain in a bigger bottle. So same scent, you get a little bit more for your money. Okay, ooh, I'm super excited about this one. Oh my goodness. This came in the mail just yesterday and I, oh my goodness, I did not know if I was gonna like it or not because there were so many mixed reviews. I'm big on reading reviews before I even buy. There were mixed reviews on YouTube and then Amazon, people seem to love it. And then on Fragrantica, people seem to love it. So I just was like, oh my goodness, let me just try it because this one is the dupe for Zhirzhov Dama Bianca. And this one is the Al Harmain, Harmain Janun Noir. So it's Janun Noir. That's what people typically are calling it. And this one is delicious. This, I like this one almost as much as I like the Amber Oud Gold one that I just showed because it it is a fruity scent. I'm enjoying fruity scents right now. However, this one is best described as fruit on top of powder. So if you don't like any kind of powder iris, bypass this one. But this one to me, the best way I can describe it is fruit on top of like a powder recent. So let me go ahead and read the notes for Janu Noir. Top notes are Kunkwa and Lime. So that's the fruit in it. Mid is orris, violet, jasmine, lily of the valley. Base is vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. And I do like uh, cedar to be in my bottom notes because that would give it a little freshness at the end. Oh my goodness, I sprayed this and I just kept smelling my hand. I've never had a perfume that has had kumquat as a note. I've never eaten kumquat before. So let me go ahead and spray this one. But if you like fruit and you don't mind powder, go for it. Is it the best scent in the world? No, but it's enjoyable and I cannot wait to wear it somewhere. Now this one is the little 2.5 ounce bottle and this one is a little more. I think I paid oh, 50, 57, somewhere in there. It is on Amazon, but for me, it's worth it. It is definitely worth it. I love the packaging. Yeah, it smells really good, but you've got to be okay with powder, a powdery note in there. Oris, Violet, I'm wondering if Iris is in there and maybe I just missed it because it, it gives me that Iris because Val Valentino Dona has Iris in it. And that's what make that, makes that one smell powdery. Um, this one, again, is that fruit 
on top of the powder and that makes powder more tolerable for me it's just an interesting scent something about it also reminds me of there's a i feel like i've smelt it before in an older scent like 90s early 2000s but i just could not place my i cannot put my finger on it so just know for me it's good but it's very much i don't know if people want to get it's nothing new it's not like it just hit the market i think it came out in like 2018 i'm just now hearing about it obviously i'm late to the arabian perfume game but to me it's just it's good i like it i'm very happy with this one uh so and then so here's the packaging look Al Harmain, do they ever fail? Do they ever fail you? They don't really fail you with their scent. They never fail with packaging. The packaging always looks really nice for the money. You just open, you just pull that little tab there and it opens up and it just sits right in there. I don't think that you're ever going to have an issue in delivery where, oh, your bottle is broken. I just don't see that happening with Al Harmain. The bottle really does not match the scent because when you think of noir you're thinking of nighttime and it, that it's going to be a dark rich scent which it's not but it is good and I, I i plan to really 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 wear her on any warmer days spring possibly probably summer yeah and because shoot i powder myself down in summer because it gets so hot so i'm quite sure that this will blend right in with the powder that i have on my body in summer so but yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share uh, three more additions to my Middle Eastern collection. And I, I think I'm going to keep them. The only thing that might be, um, might become on the, I'll definitely keep those two. The only thing that might be up on the chopping block eventually would be the Nada. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just, we'll see. Right now, it's just, eh, I don't know. It smells good, but... The Danone Noir smells better to me. The I Am The Queen smells better for me. Um, they're all fruity scents. And they're all, they all have a sweetness to them. But I just seem to like those two better. So, yeah, that's it. This was just a quick uh, haul. Just showing you what I recently got. And thank you for watching.